Now, I don't think I mentioned this, but you prepare these key ring blanks exactly the same way as you do if you were making a pen. The only difference is you're pressing different parts into the end of the brass tube. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. Now this does not have to be tight. It just has to hold this down so it doesn't slide around. I've changed my method of operation here. I used to spray both ends with a curing agent. Now I just spray the one end. The end that has the rubber band, well, I let the rubber band help clear out the CA glue. And, if I have to, I just put on a new rubber band. They're dirt cheap. And, as I did with the first two key rings, I'll just clean out the brass tubes and press everything together. And, oh, you'll probably notice I got extra blanks there in Purple Heart. Well, it turns out I had three of the Penzar kits. Now, as I mentioned earlier in this series, I had gone to great detail a few months ago to show how the Penzar kits were being turned, so I didn't show them here. But anyway, here's the pens for the girls. Now I know you know what is going to happen next. Yep, gotta test them out. Now because there was an overwhelming opinion in that as much of the blue of the blue goose should show as possible, I'm turning it with the half inch scraper here instead of the one inch. And that way I can still get right down to the bushing and leave as much of the green showing or blue showing, well it's green to me I'm sorry, as possible. Now I realize I don't have to sand this right down to 1000 grit, like I was making a pen blank or something. It just has to look good, and it's gonna look good. Now the reason that I'm applying the Varathane over top of the paint is because, well, that paint was put on maybe as early as 1957, and uh, I just want to make sure that the uh, paint isn't going to flake off in somebody's pocket or purse. This will sort of help glue it back onto the wood. Almost three months has passed since I shot this little video clip up at Dory Lake, Saskatchewan in Canada. And, you know, it seems like a lot of work for just half a dozen pens and ten key rings. But uh, it was fun. 
and I hope you enjoyed sort of hanging around with me and watching me make these things. Um, anyway, you know, I still wonder, who is it who's going to end up with the key ring that has the genuine wormholes? <laughs>